what is a career plan so a career plan is um you reflect you know you think and you come up with where you want to be as a nurse where you want to get to where do you want to see yourself so you write that down i always say don't just think about it put it down on paper get a pen write it down you know write it down on a piece of paper you can get like a notebook that's what i do get a notebook so um when i started nursing and um, when i qualified i've i had my first pay guys and i've done a video about it actually so if you haven't watched it just have a look at my page just a video about my experience my first pay so when i had that experience i thought to myself well um i love nursing i know that i'm in this long term yes i don't want to do anything else but i've got to find a more sustainable way of being in this long term since this is what i want that's what i said to myself and one of the first things that i did well i did a few things before but they were just getting me really stressed out really burnt out and um, so i sat down and i said i'm going to get a plan of what i want to achieve throughout my nursing career so that was what that was what i thought at the time this was about six years ago when i did this i sat down i took a piece of paper a pen and i said what do i want to achieve throughout my nursing career and i said okay i would like to be a nurse consultant that was what i wanted that's you know six years ago i thought well i like to be you know i'd like to be a nurse consultant so i wrote it down on a piece of paper and i had about i came up with about eight points so eight bullet points and obviously the final one was being a nurse consultant and then the other seven points were just things that i had to achieve to get me to that consultancy post and things that i had to achieve even in my own personal life for me to be a happy nurse that you know that was a way that i thought about it at the time so i wrote all these eight bullet points down um of how i would achieve it and what i would do and where i would need to work and then obviously i just kind of expanded um on that and from when i did that um i had like a massive um i don't want to say turnover i had like a massive just like an epiphany i don't know how to call it um that i just sat down and i thought wow this is amazing because now you've you know where you want to get to um you know what you need to get to that destination so i started looking for you know those positions that would enable me to get to where i wanted to get to and basically that's what you do and again um i see so many nurses that are ambitious that are driven they want to succeed they want career development but they are shy about it no you don't have to be shy you don't have to be apologetic um over the fact that you want to succeed over the fact that you're ambitious and that you're driven no it's good that's what it means to be professionals because it means that you're only going to um try to acquire more knowledge which will only be of benefit to your colleagues to the patients that you're looking after and all of that because what you find is that the people who are really ambitious and driven they tend to to do more sort of like um more it's always like this ongoing um professional development that you get to do all these extra courses and every course that you do is more knowledge that you acquire and you get to think you get to think critically which i always say again is fundamental if you want to succeed you've got to have the ability to think critically so look at something and say for example where you're working you have to sit down and say which is you know these are all involved in your career plan because where you're working once you've done your plan you sit down and you say okay i'm working on this sort of award my career plan i would like to achieve this if i carry on working here am i able to achieve my objectives am i able to achieve these um competences so you've got to do that and if you find that you're currently working in an area that will not enable you to have those um those skills and those objectives that you're having then it's worth considering maybe moving to another area because again i see so many colleagues who are working um, on a particular ward or in a particular area because they've got friends there or because they're getting on with the manager or because um no you know yes it's good to have a good um it's good to have a good relationship with your colleagues obviously but you've got to have a plan you've got to have something bigger that you want to achieve and i think if you think nursing long term that's what is going to make you to overcome all those daily difficulties that we have you know as as, as nurses is looking at your long-term goals and saying well i may be going through this difficulty now but i've got something bigger that i'm trying to get to 
and that is what personally that is a sort of thing that keeps you going and i think that if you can achieve this you know personally it's something that you have to achieve you know personally if you can achieve that you find that you can reduce your levels of burnout or the possibility of burnout significantly because like me from when every time that you move from one step you know every time that you achieve that bullet point and you move to the next the sort of satisfaction that you get the sort of transformation you know that you get the sort of the accomplishments you know that you you don't you feel it's amazing just an amazing feeling and but you can only know that you can only trace that progress you can only look back on that progress when you have that plan you know many of us are working on autopilot we're running our careers on autopilot and guys this is a dangerous way of of doing things because yes you may be lucky to succeed but 90 you know the probability is higher that you're unlikely to succeed you know working that way because you've got to have a plan you've got to plan your moves meticulously you've got to know that okay this position what am i getting out of this what am i giving in because like i say it's a two-way relationship it's a two-way something you've got to give enough where you're working but you've also got to have something that you're getting out of it it's not just a matter of going to work day in day out you know just to see how things go so um in my coaching practice we the main thing the main thing and the first thing basically is getting that plan right getting a career plan and then making sure that you're going for the right opportunities to enable you get to that objective get to that target and i know um some of the nurses say oh no i just want to earn you know some more money now because if i'm focusing on this career plan um thing it's going to take me way too long and no it's about long-term goals because if you look at look at many of us nurses we're in this for so many years you don't want to be just just kind of managing and and no you want to go to work happily you want to go to work with pride you want to go to work joyfully you want to go to work you know knowing that yes i'm doing this because i love it i love what i do you don't want to just go to work because you've got no option or you feel that you have no choice because that affects your patient care as well the quality of your care is not going to be the same is it so you've got to have a plan you need to know where am i coming from where do i want to get to it is extremely extremely important very very important once in a while you need to go back you review that plan you see what have you done how far have you come so again these are some of the things that we need to do to achieve those goals and those objectives and another thing i'll say is an accountability partner is a must have if you have to succeed a must a must have because somebody that is not a family member that doesn't work with you but that understands what it is that you're doing and what you're going through is extremely important for you to succeed for you to progress for you to achieve your goals for you to even just come and have a moan with just to come and say you know what i went to work today and this this, this happens and the person can think objectively you know objectively to tell you okay maybe you should have done this differently next time maybe next time you can do it this way maybe next time prioritize or what you know whatever it is so you need that in order to succeed you need a plan so have a career plan guys if you don't have one you need to sit down and make sure that you have one done um again i'm free you know just contact me and we can go through it see where you're at see where you want to get to and just sort of work and take it on from there so thank you so much for listening do have a good day and stay safe bye